What's going on guys and welcome to another video where basically today we'll be doing the cam follower um, but obviously it is absolutely freezing today it's snowing all last night um, and this morning it's like absolutely super windy so I'm gonna go ahead and um, keep my mask on keep my hood up because it's just freezing inside this garage like it's probably like at least one degrees right now so but uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and we're gonna get this cam follower on, uh, get it changed. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a little tutorial for you guys how to do it as well. So I'll go ahead and quickly show you guys what tools you need right now. Okay guys, so this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your 13 mil spanner, your 17 mil spanner, your T30 Torx bit, and your a little pick for the plugs, uh, as well as the release pressure or the fuel pump and some rag just for some excess fuel. And obviously you're gonna need the attach attachments for the Torx, so like the ratchet and whatnot. Um, so this is what mine looks like. So on mine, I've got this little shield just to protect the plug. Uh, mostly it's just there for show, but uh, obviously this, these are Allen keys, but in your guys, it will be the Torx, which is like that one there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start us off by you take this little tiny cap off. Once you get this off, you put it to a side and there'll be a little nipple inside here, which you wanna press and then it will release, release pressure and excess fuel um, that is still inside the pump. So you wanna get a cloth down here and then just nip it. So grab the pick and your cloth. And it's only, you know, it's, it's gonna evaporate anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead you just want to get the get the pin inside and press it in and once you grip once you eventually get it you'll uh see the fuel come out like so you want to hold it there for a couple of seconds that's good enough so you just want to get your tissue make sure that it's all collecting the access and then grab your 13 mil spanner you want to take this bit off. So, uh, only a couple of cracks and that's ready to be hand tight. Loosen it off. And you want to keep all your bits relatively on a clean surface so that you don't get any, again, excess fuel coming out there. Keep all your bits clean on a clean surface. Um, I'm just going to put mine in here. So next thing you want to do is go ahead and get your plugs off. Now, if, the, if these are stubborn, you can use a pick. Uh, my hands are absolutely freezing, so I probably will need the pick. So you just want to get the pick and just pry it, pry it open like that, and then you should be able to just push it off. And then you want to get these completely out of the way so that you can get to the rest. Uh, my, in my, Position, obviously having this cover, I can't get to the back plug unless I undo these bolts. So next thing I will do is I'll get my 17 mil spanner and I'll go ahead and loosen this metal um, piping. So 17. I'll crack this off. Okay, you might get some excess fuel here. While you're doing this close, please make sure that your doors are closed and your ignition is obviously not on. So yeah, that hand tight. And once that drops down like that, you just want to push the pipe down away from the pump, like so. And then once you have it like that, you want to go ahead and undo your three bolts which obviously mine two are Allen keys because of the cover and the standard one, which is down there. So we've gone ahead and got your bit on a, on a uh, impact gun just to get, make it a bit faster. Once you get these bolts out, well, once I get these bolts out, because obviously the cover, I take the cover off and then I should be able to get to my plug. So I pull this off. Not losing any bolts. If you guys want this cover, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the uh, description. It's just a little thing that saves, because obviously it's very common for these plugs to have a crack in the center here, and then it's completely knackered. Uh, and then you get a new pump, basically. 
So yeah, again, prying the uh, clip backwards and then let's actually come back in. Better with two hands, really. So yeah, pry it off. Oh, one second, guys. There we go, so with two hands, I managed to get it quite easily. So obviously, once you get that out, just put the plug out of the way completely. So go on ahead, swap to the Torx, just the last bolt for this. And that's that. That's the last bolt there. So you want to go and put that out of the way. And then once you've done that, you can literally just pull this pump straight out. Obviously the fuel line is still on the bottom, which is a rubber hose, which I did not take off because I don't need to. You just pull this backwards. There we go. So now it's all the way out. You want to grab your head, grab your old cam follower, which is here, which to be honest, doesn't even look that bad. Get your pump off. You want to go ahead and check your cam lobe. I think that's what it's called. Uh, just for any excess damage, but mine looks pretty damn mint to be fair and um, i was sort of expecting that because this car is relatively low miles anyway um but otherwise you can just inspect the pumps make sure it's not damaged in anyhow um i've already had this out recently because this is um a stage a oh, high pressure okay um revo uprated high pressure fuel pump so it's um i've had it out recently and completely rebuilt the whole thing so uh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put my new follower in and then uh, get the pump back on. So here's my new follower, brand spanking new. What you want to do is completely grease this up. You can either use the excess oil here or use some new oil. Just get it all around and then just slot it right in like that and it should be should fit perfectly fine. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and just pushed it in. I um, actually got some new oil here and poured some inside the cap and just spread it around the follower just so it's completely full and lubricated ready to go in and then once you've got that in you want to grab your pump back again and obviously again just make sure everything is clean on the pump before you put it back in and i'm going to go ahead and actually give this quite a wipe down and uh go ahead and, ins and put it in back in okay so i've gone ahead and i've uh, just wiped it all down around the seal because obviously i'm reusing the old seal because obviously this wasn't out that very long ago and my cam follower kit did not come with one, fortunately. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pry it down and it will, again, just slide back in and you'll be able to wiggle it in like so. Like that. And then once you've got it all lined up, you wanna go ahead and just put the bolts in nice and gently by hand and then use a ratchet just to nip them up. Okay guys, so I've already put the bottom bolt in there just to nip it up and hold the pump in place. Uh, in my situation, I'm going to put the plug on now um, so I can, when I put these two bolts in, the plate will go back on and it's just completely easier. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put these two in with the cover on and then put this back on well I'll put it back on for you guys right now again i'm just pushing the pipe back up getting this sort of nut up onto the threads a bit of luck it should catch like so so that's caught now once it's can't do any more by hand i'll just go ahead and nip it up with the spanner and then we're almost done Okay, so I've gone ahead, I've got my cover on now, which is all tight. Plug is in. I'm gonna go ahead and put this plug in now. Really simple, these plugs. Push, clip, done. Put it into the supporter. Make sure there's no slack on, or well, make sure these aren't pulling on the plug. And then, go ahead, make sure this is all nipped up properly. Yeah, that's tight. And the last thing is just your little release valve, which I took out before. All you do is literally just twist her in. If 
by hand. And then when she stops, grab your 13 and just go ahead and nick it up. Nothing crazy tight, but just enough for you guys to know that you know you're not gonna leak any fuel out of this. Um, same with all the other components. Okay, this spanner is cheap shit. It's actually damaged there, so it's already fucking slipping, but yeah, this junk this this thing is junk man, I can feel it flexing. Um Okay, so I ended up just using a 13mm socket just to nip it up properly. Um, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and grab your lovely plastic cap. Put it back on, nice and snug. Grab your tissue and just wipe whatever you want to wipe. Um, make sure that everything is all clean and all good. Put your tools away. Again, just make sure all the plugs are in properly. Everything's solid, nothing to worry about. All the lines are back on and tight. And you wanna go ahead and just jump into the car. Uh, open the door, the door will prime the um, pump. As you can hear, I'm not so sure if this is, yeah, so I think it's just one time. One time you open the door, get your key. Do you wanna just turn the ignition on, let it do its bit, turn this junk off, just cycle the ignition a couple of times, let the uh, whatever that noise is stop. And then what you wanna go ahead and just uh, crank her on. Inspect it just in case there's any leaks. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's all done now, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you guys as well, write that down in your service history that the cam follow has been done on this date, at this mileage, so then you guys can keep track of it. Um, and uh, yeah, they, these things last like, depending if you're like stage two plus or whatever, um, perhaps 10, uh, 15, 20,000 miles, you won't have to check it again, but um, Obviously guys, it's all up to you, so um, I'll leave it up to you guys whenever you want to do it again, but at least you guys know how to do it now. So yeah, I'm going to head and see you guys in the next video, and uh, yeah, take it easy.